Hello, I'm Kenneth Himmler Sr. and I am the CEO and founder of Integrated Asset Management, a wealth management and financial planning firm. And today we are going to talk about payable on death accounts, otherwise known as pods, and paying bills after death. Let me first explain that what I refer to as the poor man's will. Otherwise, if I'm gen not gender specific, I'll say the poor person's will. The poor person's will works in the methodology of not setting up a will or a trust. You set up all of your accounts under joint ownership with rights of survivorship, or you create what's called a pod or a tod. Banks do not have beneficiary designations on their accounts, nor do brokerage accounts. Now, if you have an IRA or an annuity, they will, in fact, bypass probate because there is a designated beneficiary. If you have a bank account, checking, savings, CD, they do not have beneficiary designations. If you have a brokerage account that is a non-IRA, it does not have a beneficiary designation. But you can create on the bank account a payable on death. Generally what it takes is you have to go into the bank and ask to code that particular account as a POD, where you can name a designated beneficiary. Or you talk to your financial advisor or the stock brokerage company, if you don't have an advisor assigned to you. Tell them that you want a TOD or a TOD attached to the brokerage account. That will allow you to name a direct beneficiary. Now what happens is, if that particular account holder passes through this life, the amount of money that's in there gets paid directly to that beneficiary. Now this sometimes may pose a problem because that particular beneficiary may not be as responsible as the executor or the person that's responsible for paying that person's bills after they die. So why I would always suggest staying away from a POD or a TOD is there's other alternatives. There is a will, but again, a will is going to create probate. Or there's the revocable living trust, which I would always suggest as a catch-all because it allows the appointment of a trustee and the elimination of a POD or a TOD. Thank you for joining me today. Again, my name is Kenneth Himmler Sr., and I am the CEO and founder of Integrated Asset Management. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.